Hello, welcome back to my workshop. Right, continuing on from the theme of um, camping stoves, got some of this show. It says camp stove inside. Oh, I wrote that. This one is a wood fired camp stove. Let me just show you its features and then I'll go make a cup of tea. Comes a little bag. The, I bought this for about a tenner quite some time ago. Haven't actually tried it yet. A friend of mine bought it. You can see it folds up really tiny. That comes out. That comes out. That comes out the bottom. That slides down there. That goes on top of there. And we're done. And what you do. Well, you're not quite done, you then fold out these. And then you can put a pan on there. Or a kettle. Now, a friend of mine who had one of these reckons this will boil a, a kettle in a couple of minutes. So we're going to go and try that out. And obviously what you do is you put some something to uh, start the fire with. And he just used ripped up newspaper. So we're going to put some ripped up newspaper in there. We're going to go chuck in a few very dry, dead dry twigs in there. Quite a few. Uh, then we're going to spark it up and make some tea. But we're not going to do that in here because that would be silly. So let's uh, congregate outside and see how long this takes to make some tea. Uh, right. Start with the thing up. Should be able to load it from underneath. I'll probably do me. Twiggy bits. Very snappy dry twigs. to get it going. I think that'll probably do for now. Right, before we start, half litre of water goes in kettle. We'll get this out. answer is no. That's playing city buggers.
You know what? I might have to go get a match. Let's see now. Okay, I've decided that's not worked, so let's, uh, it has charred the wood a bit, so we might want to work next time. What we're going to do, do it slightly differently. The wood might have been sat out in the damp for too long. Pull quite a lot of this stuff out. I'll chuck it back in on top of... burning newspaper. Right, let's just do that again. That sounds a bit more hopeful. And that's definitely wood going down there, right. 
Let's go and make some tea. Let's have a quick uh, look in that fire and see what it looks like down there. You can see that it'll also easily get anything else going that you chuck on there now. Oh, that tea's a Let me just uh, have a little need to have a light. Yeah, just chuck some more wood on there and you can see that that's going again. So I'm going to go and let that die down, finish my tea and I will see you back in the workshop. Hello, right so we've done that. Um, I also filled this thing right up to, uh, to as much as it takes which is about 1.8 litres. Um, and you can see that that took 29 minutes, uh, well, just under 29 and a half minutes to boil. But that's very much dependent on how good you are at managing the fire. Now, what I then did was I used a um, stick to take that off, and a stick to hold that on. Well, I used these handles to tip the tip that out, uh, and it's been about five minutes since I did that. And it's now cool enough to handle so let's just have a look and see what we've got so that's what that main burner pan looks like it looks okay um i'd hazard a guess that that would last a reasonable amount of time and that looks fine that's uh not quite sure how that's supposed to work oh yes it takes air up there uh, and then it puts it out into the fire that works and you can see the uh, Nice little oxide colours there, and you can see a bit of smoke and ash there. That'll work, so we can put that away, like that. And then I think that fell down. That goes in more, oh, hold on. Can you chuck that one in first? Chuck that in on top. And then this just goes back to the bag. So you can probably have it broken down and put away after you tip the fire out within a few minutes. Quite like that. Downside is you can see the amount of smoke it puts out. And the other thing is 
how long it takes to do anything is very, very, very dependent on exactly how good you are at managing the fire. Now, I just had a look, I bought that quite some time ago. And what I've just done is I've, I've had a look at, uh, had a look at uh, where I bought it from. Not available from the same seller. Uh, put some search terms in. You can buy one for about 30 quid. That's a bit overpriced. I'll put some search terms in so you can look around and find um, it on sale in lots of different places. On that note, thank you for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Um, and uh, yeah.